Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Faithfully Blessed here. And today is a special day for me because it is my 22nd birthday. Yes, I said it's my 22nd birthday. Do I look 22 to you? I hope not. <laughs> but if you say I do, thank you. Um, this video is going to be based off what I feel about my 22nd birthday and how do I spend my 22nd birthday. So basically this year with me turning 22, I plan to go to an NABJ conference in Birmingham, Alabama. If you're all from Birmingham, then woo, because I went to your city. Okay. I went there. So basically Friday and Saturday, I went to the NABJ conference. And there I learned so much about journalism because you know I'm a journalism major if you don't know it's fine let me introduce myself so my name is Faith I'm the creator of Faithfully Blessed that you're watching right now so if you haven't subscribed to this video please go subscribe because I want you to come back for more content and I know I've been gone for quite a while for you who know me but uh, now I am back so let's keep it going so I'm a journalism major I'm a multimedia journalism major and through my major I wanted to go to this conference so that's what I did I went to this conference I enjoyed myself I have pictures video for y'all but my main goal of making this video is to talk about 22 things I want to do this year I know people tend to rush into next year, but I'm staying within this year, 2019, okay? So if you are with me, comment down below, 2019, live in the moment, okay? All right, cool. So the first thing that I think I want to do this year is to take more trips. Have more time to take trips. Have more time to travel. I want to be able to go to different places, see different people, just venture out, y'all. And if you can agree, then tap that like button. So, number two, the second thing that I think I will want to do this year is to get more serious about my major. If you all are majoring in business or you're majoring in journalism or you're majoring in chemistry, I don't know. Whatever you're majoring in, please take that seriously and along with me, I'm going to take mine seriously. So the third thing I want to do this year for my birthday is to stop focusing on these guys. That's right, I said it, guys. Because just because I'm in college doesn't mean that I'm just exempt from dating, y'all. And I have been dating, but, and I know this is a little personal, but I feel that I need to focus more on my work instead of men. Because men will always be there. Men can wait until after the career, until after, you know, I get myself fully established. So, since we're having this girl talk, if you can agree, like this video. All right. So, the fourth thing. Down to number four. Okay, so the fourth thing I think that I want to do this year is to be serious about my business. I know I haven't really been talking about my business or talking about what it is or being able to show up and talk about it. But I still don't want to talk too much into it, but I do want to affirm my business, have affirmations for myself around that because I want positivity and nothing but great things coming to me, great gravity coming to me when it comes down to my business. So therefore, I do want to be an entrepreneur, have my own business. So that's something that I'm working towards right now when I'm talking to you about this video this is my business this is my brand and i want to push more into this brand and i want to make it more special for you guys so yeah so number five we're on five so basically my fifth goal to reach this year is to be more sociable i know you all can relate we get so busy with school where we get so busy with friends we get so busy with everything else we forget to be sociable outside of social media like i said we have friends but we need to make more but not on our phones okay did you get that because i'm giving you nuggets here and i hope you're taking them so let's get out more. Let's be more sociable. Go to different events. Go to different networking events surrounding your major. That's what I learned this weekend. The more you hone your skills, the better you can be as whatever you want to be. So you need to hone that. You need to hone your craft and build it up so you can be the best that you can be. So six, we on number six. 
So basically, all right, my sixth thing I think that I need to do this year is to save. Save money. Save money so you can have time for yourself, have time for leisure, and to also just have time to just, you know, spend a little here, spend a little there. Just chump change, okay? So th this year I plan to save my money. To stack up, to rack up, to just save, 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 save. So if anything was to happen, I'll have money. And if you all can agree, hit that like button, alright? And subscribe. Um, okay, so number seven. Let's see. What would I want to do this year? The seventh thing I want to do, let's see. I would say be more creative. Stand out, like, hone, back to hone in my craft, but being creative, like, standing out from other people and just doing what I gotta do. I will say creativity makes you unique, makes you authentic. Well, it can make you authentic. I'm not gonna say it necessarily makes you authentic, but it can. It can lead you to a lot of things, your creativity, if you are creative. And if you're not creative or you think that you're not, you are in some form or way, I'm telling you. Tap into that creativity. Don't be afraid to hone, to own and hone what you have. So don't be afraid, okay? So that's another tip for me, number seven. Number eight. So number eight for me would be, I would say, to stay focused. Stay focused on schoolwork. Stay focused on getting that money. Stay focused on my major. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. Whatever it is that I need to do, I want to stay focused on that. I want to keep a straight and narrow route so I can be focused. Whatever it is, I want to tap into it and stay tapping into it. So that's number, number eight. Hope so. Okay, so number nine. Okay, back to the ninth thing. I think number nine, I would say this year, what I want to do. This year, I want to be able to land a job. Land a job opportunity. Yeah, that's big. For college students like myself, nowadays we're looking for internships, we're looking for jobs, we're looking for little side hustles so we can have money. So I would say that would be another thing that I would want to, you know, work towards. Getting more, getting myself out there to be more open, to talk, to express. Um, just basically how I feel as far as getting a job, being honest with myself is what I'm saying. Be honest with yourself before anything. Know what you can do and know what you're limiting yourself from. Let me say that again. Know what you're limiting yourself from. Because some things you may think that you're not limiting yourself, but you probably are. That time when you want to, well, maybe I don't need to study. I need to go out. Those times that you're doing that, you're making a choice to limit yourself. And that's why I said, this is number nine that I want to open myself up to get more job opportunities so number 10 number 10 i think i want to have more fun have more fun be able to again be open have fun where you can go out mingle hang and not have to worry about you know different things that's going on surrounding well you always have to worry about it but not really focus on that just have good fun with friends get out talk mingle dance go to the gym do something that you want to do so have some fun that's something else i want to do have some fun and also for number 11 i think i want to be less serious okay because i'm always i'm known to be super serious so i think this year, I want to try to loosen up just a little bit. Just to feel the floor beneath me. Okay? And to, and if you all can relate, if you're bogged down with schoolwork, um, bogged down with homework, I want to be less stressed. I want to be able to just relax. Still be focused. Don't get that wrong. Still be focused. Still have a serious mindset. But at the same, and a serious demeanor. But at the same time, I want to sometimes let that go. 
make a make a guideline between what you can what you allow and what you won't allow and then you have that in between guideline of that fun side that you have don't forget that because people sometimes tend to have that what you allow what you want what you will allow and no fun okay so you need to have those boundaries set up somewhere okay um number 12 let's see i have a long way to go to 22 so number 12 i think this year i want to stay prayed up be be more prayed yeah have a better connection with God. That's another thing I want to do, which I should have said first. But I want to have a better relationship with God. Pray more. You know, give God more of my time. That's another thing I think I would, would want to have. And if you agree with me, like that button. Okay. So 13. 13, what do I want this year? I want to be more positive. I'm already positive, but at the same time, I want to be like super positive and not have thoughts about, oh, this or this or this or this or this. No, I want to just have a positive energy, positive energy, no negativity, nothing for the devil to get y'all for real. I want to have positivity and productivity. So that leads to number 14 productivity i want to have more productivity throughout my day plan my days around around what i'm doing or plan my you know plan my events around my time is basically what i'm saying so i can have more time to do exactly everything that i want to do and be consistent with it so let's see 15 so 15 number 15 that i want to do I want to try different food, you know. I'm always stuck into like, oh, this or all oh, this. I'm used to this. This year, I plan to get out of my comfort zone and try some different food. The last food that I probably tried was alligator fins. And, y'all, it was not my favorite, okay. But it tastes like chicken. So, anybody who didn't have alligator fins, like this video. Tell me your experience down below, okay. Thanks. Um, seven, I think we're on 17. I want to say we're on 17. If we not, then you get what I'm saying. So, 17. What else would I want to do? I think I want to have more me time, you know? More time for myself so I can be productive. Be Miss Business Woman over here. Be Miss Journalist. And then also tie in some of that. Break up all those and have free time for myself in between. So I can, you know, do my jobs productively and be able, and effectively so I can be able to inspire others and also continue to inspire myself and keep myself afloat so 18 let's see what else would I want to do the 18th thing that I want to do uh I think I would want to at this moment this year I want to be able to go on more than one trip I know I said travel earlier, but go on more than one trip. Like, I want to go on another conference, like this one that I went to this year. And mingle in, meet more people. And really, they'll be coming up soon because I will be going somewhere close. And I want you all in the comments to pin where you think, I will, where you think I'll be going this summer. Pin it. And then I'll see if you're right. And I'll come back. So it may lead up to something. I don't know yet what it'll be. Okay, and let's see, am I on 19 or 20? I don't know, but I'll do two just in case. So, 19, if I haven't said 19 yet, 19, I think I would want to this year. Have more friends. Have more friends. I want to have loyal friends, nice friends, productive friends. They got good, good jobs and stuff they want to do with their lives, y'all. So they can motivate me. I'm already kind of motivated. I'm not kind of. Not kind of. See what I mean? I want to have more positive things, y'all. But I'm motivated. But it's nice to have other friends who are motivated so you can know and stay on track of what you're doing. It's always nice to have friends who are on the same level as you. And 20. My final. Not final. I got two more. Oh, my God. Okay. So, number 20, I think I would want to 
make more content for my YouTube videos. Have a, you know, concrete schedule where I can post every week or every two weeks for y'all. Do makeup videos. And if you haven't noticed, why are we talking about makeup? If you have not noticed, look at my face, y'all. Is it beat? Tell me. Let me know. Because this is my first time going to get my makeup done, y'all. And it is super, super gorgeous. I like it. But I want to hear in the comments what y'all think about my makeup. Okay? And if you want a story on why, why I waited so long to do my makeup, comment down below. Alright, so 21. Okay. My 21st thing... Is that a thing? Number 21 for the thing that I want to do this year. This year, I want to be more happy. I want to be able to really genuinely be happy with my goals, be happy with my life, be happy where I am. Just be happy, be content, y'all. Contentment is the best when you are humble, when you are... When you have the right mindset to go forward, to push forward, and you thank God each and every day. So, contentment is where it's at. I think everybody in the world should strive for contentment. Not perfection, but contentment. Okay? And my 22nd thing. Yes. My 22nd thing. So, with me being 22, this weekend, I'm going to say this weekend. Starting my birthday off this weekend. Because I turned 22 Saturday, but by the time you see this video, it'll be past. Okay? So, with me turning 22, I believe that this year, I should have the best year and to live in the moment. That's one thing that I want to do this year. Live in the moment, no regrets, no, no excuses. I want to be the boss that I am, the girl boss that I am, the entrepreneur, the driven one, the one who has all the goals, all the plans made out, and I want to have a plan, a planned out plan. Every day have a plan. Every night have a plan. Like, y'all, I want to, this year, I want to be more productive. I want to have more, do more, and be more. So I hope you all have enjoyed this video. It was kind of fun to me going through 22 things that I want for this year. So hit that like button if you like this video. And please subscribe. And I will see you in another video. And girl, enjoy your life. And also, wait, wait, wait. Don't leave. Tell me happy birthday in the comments, y'all. And leave a great comment, okay? Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.